Hi guys, welcome to Lennox Clinic channel and this is the solution for the PEP Mental Ability 2023. Guys, if you hear me sneeze, I'm a bit sick, so just forgive me in advance. Alright, so we're going to go to the solution. I'm going to go through as quickly as possible for persons who want to crack. This is my number, 876-54921. It says, see that the option best suggests complete the sentence for items 1 to 4. Question is to answer as problem is to A, solu B, solution. Ocean is to Atlantic as C is to Pacific. Airplane is to flight attendant as school is to. I'm going to go with teacher, simply because teacher is not the head, the principal will be the head, and in the airplane, the pilot would be the head. So that's my reason for that. Number four, wheel is to invention as fire is to discovery. I think them discover fire, they did not create a manufacture. Number five, for items nine, five to six, choose the option that has the correct alphabetical order. All right, so both all of them have E-N, no, it's an E-T. I think it should end with T, E, T. So I'm gonna go with four at the end. So you see that this or this. Uh, let us inspect which one should be at the front. Either one or three, entertain, enter E. So this is R. And for this one, the three, it's R. So which, no, R, oh, G. So energy should be at the front. So I'm gonna go with Again, guys, it's a bit quick, but nevertheless, we can go where we have right? So we have aggressor, aggression, aggrieve, aggregate, and aggressive. Uh, which should be at the end. All of them are A, G, G, R. So in terms of E, I. All right, so I'm, I'm saying this should be at the end since it's I, E coming for I in all of them. So this should be at the end. So three should be at the end. So it's either this or this. All right, four should start it. We know that aggregate start it. That's correct for both. Let's check between five and two. Five and two. So we have aggressive, SS, I, V, E. So aggressive come after. I'm going to say aggression comes before. Since I, both of them have I, but then V come after O. So two should be in front. In front of that. So it will be four, five, two, one, three. So that leaves us with one. No, aggression come before, before aggressive, right? So two come before. So it's four, two, Five, one, three. That will be C. I hope I didn't get mixed up there. No, no guys, sometimes this can be a bit tricky. So that would be correct. I'm going to stick with C. Number seven. Which option is unnecessary is not or oh, not a necessary component of the word in code. So we have market crowds. I'm gonna go with crowd. They don't necessarily have to have a crowd. Month, week, day, holiday. I'm gonna say holiday. There are some months without holiday. All right, so let's move on to 11. Email, sender, attachment, receiver, message. Well. What do you mean by message? Email must have email don't must necessarily have an attachment to it. And then again, it can just have it can just be a message. It doesn't necessarily have to have an attachment. And then it can just have an email with only attachments. This one is tricky, guys. 
you say which is not. So you send out with the sender and a receiver. That's, that's no doubt about that. In terms of message and attachment, you can have an email without an, att an attachment. It could be just a message. So I'm going to go with attachment. It could be message. I, I'm not sure what the idea. You guys can enlighten me on that one. I'm not sure what the examiner's um, objective there was. For item 10 and 11, which word is least similar to the word in bold? So we have category. You know what I'm saying? Category, then I'm category, then I'm standard, then I'm group, then I'm set. I'm going to go with set. Modern, unique, recent, latest, I'll go with unique. So I have a different opinion, guys. I'll see it in the comment section. Right? For item 12 to 14, examine the options. Select if one does not belong in the group. Obstacle, hurdle, barrier, entrance. So that would be entrance. Sketch, illustration, photo, drawing. I'm going to go with photo. This one. It could be illustration. I'm not quite sure. So we have pair trio, your both, and that would be trio. Trio mean three, these mean two. Right, both and your eye. Number 15, for item 15 and 16, which option reflects a pattern? Um, so let's just put some numbers quickly. I'm going to make this a little bit deeper. Should I know? It's going. I'm just going to assign some number to them. Write on your numbers and see how it goes. This is how I'm expecting my students to approach it because I have always told them and we have been practicing just to always write the information. All right, so let's go. So this would be one, P is five. We're going to see if there's a pattern. H is eight. So far, no pattern of this, all right. L, 12, add 4. M, 13. There's no pattern there, so. All right, let's look for A. So we have 1, C, 3, F is 6, G is 7, and M is 13. No pattern. Would you say? No, I don't see no pattern here. A is one, B is four, G is seven. Put a G, keep adding G, let's see. J is 10. I am, I think it's that, you know. If, if 13 comes next, it's definitely this. All right, so the pattern is plus three. So that's 15. So we are at 13, so let us continue. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Let us examine these numbers, these letters now and see what. I'm gonna start from B this time. I think it's more convenient. So N plus N represents 14. P represents 16. S represents 19. U represents 21. X represents 24. And Z represents 26. I might if there's a pattern. It looks like this is 2 plus 3, plus 2 again. If this is a plus 3, then here we can say it's a pattern. Yeah, it's definitely this. I'm not going to go any further. Even if it, yeah. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me answer that call. Yeah, get right there. It says for item 17, read the statements in each bubble, then select the option that represents a conclusion from the statements. All right, so statement one says, let's see what it says. Hold on. All students who do well in science study during the night. All right, so they study during the night and science. 
Statement 2 says Raquel does well in science. That means she's studying at the night. Let me see if that's an option. But that them are going to say. Which conclusion can be drawn from both statements? Raquel studies during the night. Yeah, that is true. So all is pretty easy. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Study the chart. And I'll study nothing. I'll look straight to the question. It's too much to study. Sydney's dog is eight weeks old and weighs 17 kilograms. Eight weeks old, so this is the age. So we find eight, eight to fall in this category. What if what's the weight? 17 kilograms. Uh, 17 kilograms. So this is 15. No, this. All right. So that will be three cups. Right, let's look at number 19. Item 19 and 20 of words in their meaning taken from artificial language. Read them carefully and use them to help you select the correct option. All right, which word could mean some place, some place. So now for each one of them word here. Students and teach me some place. So place end with something of this sort. So some place could be this. Bam, bam, bam. Students and teach me that, you know, guys. Didn't have a clue what was that was. So my number there, link me up, all right? This mean oak tree, that mean oak leaf, that mean maple leaf. Which one of them mean, could mean maple? So the front tree I look for now. So maple and start with a C something, all right? So that will be B. So easy. We got my students. Them. Examine pattern below. Use it to answer the item. All right. Let's see what. This could be a plus four. Let us see if it can sustain. Plus four. Plus four. Yeah. The nineteen plus four. Twenty three. So 21, I'm starting off nice and easy with the maths. Let's go. It's my favorite thing, you know, guys. My favorite part of it, right? Four cells are marked in that the location of the three cells. See the key here, art. That has A5, so that has come to a letter first. And then the number. Which one am I asked for now? All right, so if a diamond, a C4. Go down to the option. Yeah. Simple as that. Let's go, let's go with the light button. So my number there, 5492161. You say, which of the following correctly replaces the star? So one pattern go here. So. All right, so we have this, bam. All right, so this are edge, bam, bam. All right, hold on. So this and this, let see anything, man. So it has to be the one that come before it because I see an exact thing, art, diamond, that. So that means I have this. So art, so circle, art, diamond, circle, art, diamond. Let's go, circle, art, diamond. Circle, art, diamond. So that will be. Right, let's move on to 24, hit the like button. How did you guys do on the exam? The clues in the rectangle below describe a two-digit number. Use them to answer that. Number is less than 50. Let me just go to the option. For some reason, guys, I don't know. Anymore. Most seems not to be working. Right All right, so I need to see the numbers while I'm doing it. So I can eliminate or whatever. The number is less than 50, so we can cross off 50. The number is greater than 20, so we can cross off 90. All right, so we do them two here already. We have number is a multiple of three. 36 is a multiple of 48. So it's going to be the, the last one determined. Digit 3 and 6, 9 and are not. So that means our 48 is left with. All right. Let's move on to 25. Hit the right button, guys. Hit the right button. Examine the three shapes below. Each shape represents its own unique set of digits. Use them to answer item 25. All right. So this is the number. I think I have to see all the options. This is tedious. So four is star front. So we have five and seven. Five and seven. I'm going to eliminate this. All right. Circle could be two, four, six, eight is an even number. 
This is not an even number for the second one, so eliminate this. All right, so we see that A or C, let's look at this now. It's a one. One and three, one and three. So it's an odd number at the end. So there, it's A. C, you're gone. Sorry. Let's move on to 26. If you like one, please. Ronnie is thinking of a number. It, a number that is more than 899 and less than 99. So less than and more than, so we can eliminate all of the 800 there because once <laughs> more than that, we can eliminate this. So we only have this thing, all right? Awesome, awesome. I like in this paper. I'm sure my students like it. Right, well, I'm go back up. The table below shows the value of the house of an apartment taken from a game using information to answer it. Which of the following statement is true? Small it up, guys. As I said, guys, I'm a bit sick. I'm rushing through the paper. This is not our teach. I teach slow. All right. Which of the following? Which of the which of the following is true? The value of a two houses is one apartment. Yeah. So multiply this. That is equal to three hundred. So yeah. I think this is one of the easiest mental I've seen so far. Whoa. That means the performance starts are tough. Read the following information about your family members. You need to answer it. All right, so Yannick, I'm going to just write the name as a go. Yannick is 22. Yannick is half of Kevin A. So it's half of 22. Or 42. All right, guys, remember I'm sick. I have to rush into this to also. So we have 44. So that's what Who was that? Kevin. All right. Next, let's look at another one. Kevin is four years older than Lee. I wouldn't know you Lee age. Kevin is four years older than Lee. I could just put Lee here. So. And then. What? Kevin is four times. Oh, so that means LD, I eleven. It's not four four years, but four. Gavin is six years older than Lee. So Gavin is not far between. So Gavin is about 17. All right. So what question is it? Who is the youngest? Now Lee, man. I didn't have to do all of that. I didn't realize. Oh, All right. All right. So let's move on to 29. Hit the like button. Observe the three balance of scale below. Use them to answer item 29. Which object is the heaviest? Right. So these are the heavier one. Another one here. Yeah. But this heavier than this, only lighter than this. So this, this, this are the lightest thing. This is a nice question though. Yeah. I appreciate this one. So this is a little bit heavier. And then this will light. No, it's a lighter. Just find the lightest. These are the lightest. Because this this light and it's heavier than this. So these are definitely the lightest. So which is the object heaviest? So black. Black and powerful. That's how we stay. So that would be A. You don't want an A, but I want a D. Why do I have to do my likes? Come on, guys. I can't do it. I'm not here. The diagram below shows a container to be filled with two liters of water. Use it to answer item 30. In each of the following options, each container holds the same amount, amount of water as the container above. Which of the following likely fill the container with water? It's exactly two liter more. All right, so it's too much. This are overflow. So now I go with C. I don't know what you guys think. It is C. I would say C for that one. Three children are shown below. Tom weighs two seventy nine point k um kilogram, and Sarah weighs twenty eight point six kilogram. Use the answer information to answer. Children are standing in ascending order. Based on their weight, which of the following? Would represent and weight. So it can be this because I ascending order. 
can be this 88.9 greater than this so it's definitely d The diagram shows the route taken by a plane day one. It also shows the plane's average speed as it schedules departure time and its scheduled arrival time on day one. Use the diagram to answer item 32. Well, I'm going to pause this. I'll be the American. All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. The diagram below shows the route taken by a plane on day one. It also shows the plane's average speed, the scheduled departure time, and the scheduled arrival time on day one. Use it on to answer. Sorry. All right, so at departure as 3 30 p.m., arrive 5 p.m., and the average speed is 76, 760 kilograms per hour. All right, kilometer per hour, rather. On day two, the same plane travels the same time, travels along the same route, but travels at greater speed. So that means I'm going to reach quicker to the same destination, which time could represent the likely arrival of the plane on day two. So it can be three. That's the time that they start. So it can be that. Could be 4.45. Let's see if there's any option. 5 o'clock? No. So it's B. So after reach before 5. All right? That's the... Bottom line, as it's going faster. 33, the table below shows the make and color of cars in stock of car dealership. Use it to answer item 33. Which car, which make of car has the largest stock of car dealership? So it's under, we'll add from over here, so on the row by row. So it's eight plus five plus four, right? Eight and nine, that's 17. Five and five, 10. Four Toyota is 22. Seven and six, 13. And five, 18. And then have 420, so it's 21. So it seems like it's Toyota. On the make you get pretty girl for a number. All right. A buyer purchased the black car. What are the chances that the make of the car is a Subaru or a Toyota? So black. Let's focus on the black. And then we'll go to Subaru. Black. Black. The black car is right here. And it says Subaru. Subaru or what? Or Toyota. All right. So out of the total cars, we have... 4, 5, 9, 10, 15. So we have 15 cars in total. And either black, Subaru, or Toyota would be 10 out of 15. Make the probability 2 over 3. Let's see if that's what they have seen. What the probability. Oh. A buyer purchase a car. What would make the car with a Subaru? Oh. So it's likely. Not this. Why the hell may I have got this one? You have to go, guys. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please ensure that you are subscribed now so you can get more performance tasks and curriculum based coming up past papers. The chart below shows the sport preferred by 160 basic students at a school. Use it to answer item 35 to 37. Guys, if you hear that at school, me then. School just over, I said, I'm going to show this. The pie chart shows it preferred 160 cars, followed by da da It's used to ISM 26. School preferred 160 grade 6 students. What's he saying? He says, which sport is the least preferred by the grade 6 students? Unfortunately, it's one of my game, which is tennis. So the smallest one, so it would be tennis. Pretty straightforward. Um, let's move on to 36. Which two sports are preferred by more than half of the grade 6 cohort? 36. More than half. Two sports that combine to more than half. Let's see. So we have the big body. No, this number half. So this it would be what? Well, it's our football and track and field. And, and it is so right. More than half. Football and track and field, right? 
So that will be football and shock and fear. The number of students who preferred netball is three times the number of students who preferred tennis. How many students prefer tennis? All right, that is very easy. Let's go. So we need to know how many students are there, which is what? Uh, 160. So this represents a quarter. It's 90 degrees, so it represents a quarter. All right, since it's measured out of 360, what I've done that, so it's a quarter times 160. But this 160 here is a total, right? But you need a quarter of that to represent both netball and tennis. So this is not the answer yet. This is 40, right? And it says that now, the number of students netball are three times what prefer. So three times, yeah. So we know what got me, so right? We add the X terms, so four, and four plus one. Three plus one is four, so that's 10. But 10 represent the actual tennis. All right, so that's 40 and divide by 4. So guys, look out to me. Performance stars and my curriculum days. All right, so I'm going to you now. My students, get ready, get ready. You know, Mr. Bennett's style already. So the answer would be B. Let's move on to 38. There are 60 animals on a farm. Cows and goats and chicken. There are 15 chickens and there are three more goats than cows. All right, first of all, I'm going to get rid of chicken. So there are 15 chicken, right? Oh, this is supposed to be 60. Guys, I'm going to lose it, you know. So I'm not well, but I try my best to complete this strike. This is a timely manner for you guys. You got people from Trinidad to Bego. All right. So that they are part of five big entire caravan. So this represents goat and chicken. Goat and cow. But they say that the goat is three more. So we're gonna subtract that three there. That left 42. Alright, so that could be 42 divided by two. I did a question similar to this on my channel. For you guys. I always have the things going. So this represents the cow, right? For 21. But just in case they add half, it will be 24 goats because they have three more goats than something. So these are cows. Mm. And these are the men. All right, hit the like button, guys. Ensure that you watch the video from the start if you have not watched it from the start. Interesting, you like the video. We have two to go. Item 39, there's a question followed by two statements. Read the statement carefully and use you and to see if they provide enough information to help you answer the question. How many students in grade six are members of the Brown Club? So that's the objective. Statement one, all the girls in grade six are members of the Brown Club. More than half the students in grade six are girls. But we still don't know how many in this. So statement one alone is enough to answer the question. No, statement two alone is enough. Statement both, no. So 39 would be D. Let's look at the last one. Hit the like button, guys. I need to put my number so you guys can alert me. Get the child in my class as soon as possible. Let's put my number right here. We got everyone. Thank you for watching it. We made it to the end. This is my number, and my name is Lennox Bennett. Despite being so awesome, I'm very reasonable because I know that. A lot of people out here are struggling, all right? So just do what I have to do and come in at the class. The kids come in the class. Tell so you, carry this number to your mom or dad. You don't want to be a part of it, all right? The information below represents what Jenny observed about the number of points she earned for a shopping at supermarket. Who is to answer item 40? Day one, Jenny bought one bag of clothes and earned one, two, three, four points. So one bag of groceries. I hope it's not tedious, you know. Jenny bought three baskets. All right, that's a, that's a day one. Oh, that's a day two. Jenny bought three baskets and earned 
You see, my moon. Oh, so this is a four. Can you say first, I'm going to prefer the plus the two more. All right, so it's a four plus two, that is six. So three x equals six. That's what I'm getting from this. So that means one of these are two. All right, I'm going to look for number six or four. Jenny bought one trolley of grocery and earned the same number of points she have earned. Jenny bought one trolley of grocery and earned the same number of points she would have earned if she bought five baskets of grocery on day two. So if one, so that's a five times two. All right, so that's 10. There was a 10 in the option. Let's go down and see what one Here we go. All right, I hope I interpret that correctly. All right, guys, so I like me, guys. Um, performance task coming up. All of that, all right. Curriculum base. Just link me up as soon as possible. Get the kids in class. Should have been here already so they can manage the thing the proper way. So I'm going to spend it tomorrow, no doubt. See you guys in another video. Thank you guys for watching.